ایکچولی دیز تھری سوراز آفٹر ایز آئی ٹولڈ یو بفور فرام سورا یونس ٹو دس سورت لمبیا دیز آر ٹویلو سوراز اینڈ سب ڈیوائڈیڈ ان ٹو فور سب گروپس آف تھری سوراز سورہ یونس سورہ ہوت سورہ یوسف ون سب گروپ سورہ راج سورہ ابراہیم سورہ ہجر سیکنڈ سب گروپ سورت النحل سورت بنی اسرائیل سورت القحف تھرڈ گروپ سورت مریم سورت و تاہا سورت الانبیاء فورت گروپ اینڈ ناؤ الحج اینڈ المومنون دے آر اے پیئر بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم یا یو الناس اتقوا ربکم او مین کائنڈ ہیو فیئر اف یور لارڈ ان زلدلت الساعت شیء عظیم ویریلی انڈیڈ دی ارتھ کویک اف دیٹ آور اسا از گوئنگ ٹو بی اے مائٹی تھنگ You know, this whole solar system will be disturbed. As we have in Surah Qiyamah, this moon will plunge into sun. They will come together. What will happen, you know? So you can't imagine. In Nazal Dalat Asaat Shayu Naseem, all these mountains turned into dust, moving, just like clouds, or just like cotton, or wool. All these mountains, the Himalayas, everything. What will be happening at that time? Nobody can imagine. In Nazalzalat Asaat Shayun Azim. When that appointed hour comes, the shaking of that time would be very mighty, very great thing. Yawma Tarawna, the day when you will see it, Tazhalu Kullu Murziyatin Amma Arzaat. Every suckling mother would just forget the baby. Now this is the most affectionate relationship, mother and the baby. In the human beings as well as animals. But no, everybody would be caring for him and her alone. Even the suckling mothers will just forget their babies. And all the pregnant females will lay down their pregnancy, their burden. And you will see people as if they are drunk. But they are not drunk. وَلَاكِنَّ عَذَابَ اللَّهِ شَدِيدٌ But the chastisement of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is very severe. وَمِنَ النَّاسِ مَنْ يُجَادِلُ فِي اللَّهِ بِغَيْرِ عِلْمٍ وَيَتَّبِعُ كُلَّ شَيْطَانِ مَرِيدٌ And there are among people who dispute concerning Allah. Although he has no knowledge, they are arguing. But he has no knowledge whatsoever. Without having any knowledge. And he follows all the rebellious satans. Yani as if he is a very big, you know, scholar and he is arguing against Allah, against Deen. But if you look to his character, he is a friend of Satan. He is following the ways of Satan. So these are the people, the scholars, the so-called, you know, intelligence of today. وَمِنَ النَّاسِ مَنْ يُجَادُرَ فِي اللَّهِ بِغَيْرِ عِلْمٍ It has been prescribed on him. That is the Satan. What has been prescribed for the Satan? Man tawallahu. Whosoever will become a friend of him. Fa innahu yudilluhu. He will definitely lead him astray. Wa yahdihe ila adab isa'ir. And he will guide him to the chastisement of the burning fire. Ya ayuhannas. O people, O mankind, in kuntum fi rabi min al If you have any doubts about resurrection, how can we be resurrected? How can we be made alive again when we shall become bones and dust and nothing else? You have doubts? Now you look to your creation, your own creation. Fa'inna khalaqna kum min turab. You know, we created you out of clay. Summa min nutfa. Then the second stage of your creation was the sperm drop, summa min alaqa. After that, the third stage, a hanging piece from the wall of the womb of the mother, like a leeches, summa min muzga. Then a lump of flesh, mukhallaqatin waghera mukhallaqatin, formed and unformed, le nubayyina lakum, so that we tell you through which stages you have come here in this world. 
education and he was a phd and this and that but then when he is now 100 years old now all knowledge gone senility has overtaken what happened to reagan he couldn't <laughs> he was recognizing only his wife and none else a person who was ruling this world at a time but this happened so actually kaila yalama min baad ilm shaya لولی <laughs> <laughs> observations your own creation from dust then sperm drop, drop then alaka then musga all these stages then you come out as a baby then you are young fully adult in the same way a land lying barren nothing no life no signs of life whatsoever rain comes and there is life You see, there's vegetation. So, the God that is doing all this, can't He create you again? This is the argument which comes in Quran many times. Zalika bi an Allahu alaq. This is so because Allah is the one who is the truth, the absolute truth. One na hu yo hil mota, and that He will revive the dead. One na hu ala kulli shayil qadir. And that he is powerful over everything. One nasaat aatiyatu lare ba fiha, and that appointed hour will come. There's no doubt about it. One Allah yabasu man fil qubur, and Allah will definitely, surely raise them who are in the graves. Wa min al nas man yujadilu fil lahe bi ghair ilmin wala hudam wala kitab munir. Again, repeating the same. But there are people who go on disputing. arguing about allah subhanahu wa taala how can he do it although they have no knowledge they have no guidance they don't have any book with them no divine no divine book sani aitfihi li yudilla an sabilillah he bends his side with arrogance so that he takes people away from the way of allah prevents them from the way of allah lahu fi dunya khizyun for them in this world is also humiliation وَنُزِيقُهُ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ عَذَابَ الْحَرِيقِ And on the day of judgment, on the day of resurrection, we shall make them taste the chastisement of fire, burning fire.